You it is good, yo. It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, guys, we're gonna be talking about a dynamic duo that could potentially save NBA 2K23 my team. Now, before I dive into this video any further, guys. If you are new to my channel, do love my team content, man. Please smash that subscribe button. We're on the road towards 110,000 subscribers. So here's the deal, okay? I'm going to start off this video by just basically briefly talking about how my team has been kind of, I don't want to say a complete dumpster fire, but it's been kind of a dumpster fire recently, okay? Yeah, from, from the likes of just, you know, last season, there being no season rewards to the, the 250K tournament to the banning for MT has just been a kind of dumpster fire, Okay. In last season, as far as the rewards were concerned, I mean, people didn't love them, okay? These two guys are what I've been asking for, not even this year, but in years past. Because I remember the days in which we'd load up a new season and there would be nothing really exciting to me to talk about. And that's just my opinion on things. Like, again, there's been times like we'd load up a new season and there's not one card that I'm like, dang, this card could be a top, you know, player at their specific position. So I said, if my team wants to go back and do this type of a reward system, which they're doing today, they've got to make these rewards work. Okay, I've said that from day one. Now, they not only did that, they went above and beyond. And again, I'm the first one to slander my team. When, when it's bad, it's bad. And I, I will say, I've been really unhappy with some of the decisions my team has made and, and just stuff like that. But when it's good, I got to hype it up because this, this is the type of thing I personally want for the future of my team. Now, here's the deal, okay? This dynamic duel between Mike Bantam and Billy Knight will save my team. Now, how do you get these players? They are RNG, okay? So it's random. It's back to the vault methods of the Terry Dishinger type of the past, okay? Of the of the Reggie Lewis of the past. So if you didn't like grinding for those cards, you're probably not gonna like grinding for these ones, but just know that's kind of the way it's gonna go, okay? Here's what you're looking at, okay? These cards in their respective, uh, at, alone, okay, by themselves are really good. Like Mike Bantam by himself, really good. Billy Knight by himself, really good. I don't think anybody is gonna disagree with that. Both of these cards, Really good. Billy Knight, you get him in offline mode, so such as like uh, triple threat offline. As far as Mike Bantam, you're gonna get him in online mode, such as like unlimited. Now it is random. It's not like you win a certain amount of games, you get him. It is all random. So here's what to, here's what to think about. By themselves, both really good, okay? Both have really good releases. Bantam has Kuzma base, normal leaner, MJ dribble style. Billy Knight, he's got Rudy base, on quick, normal leaner, MJ dribble style. Both incredible. You get both of them, which again, it's probably going to be really hard to do, but that's the goal. And you give him this duo, they're literally dark matters. Like, they're literally dark matters. And not only that, they're probably top two at their respective positions. Now, again, this is just me talking to you guys, okay? For me being, you know, part of the My Team community talking to you guys, I think this could save the My Team mode. Because now we've got something to grind for that I know it's RNG. But at least it's something, right? At least it's something that's not rinse and repeat, right? Because, and, and not only that, for me, it's one of those things that I've wanted new cards that are good. And we haven't really gotten that in the past. This is new cards that are really, really, really solid. Like for Billy Knight, you look at the extra Hall of Famers, he gets blinders, corner specialist, green machine, guard of space crater. Like they're not just bad badges. Like are some of them, you know, not great? Sure. But he also gets unpluckable, hyperdrive, challenger, interceptor, pick dodger, off ball pest, workhorse. His interior goes up six. His driving layup goes up two. Like the card becomes a lot better. And for Mike Bantam, here's what you're looking at. A card that gets Hall of Fame, Dead Eye, Green Machine, Clutch Shooter, a lot of those finishing badges, gets Hall of Fame, Box Out Beast, Brick Wall, Pogo Stick, Rebound Chaser, Interior goes up four, Three Ball goes up one, Strength goes up two, Vertical goes up one, Steel goes up two. They're not useless dynamic duos. And, and that's my other thing. How many useless dynamic duos have we seen in my team? In my opinion, it's been way too many. Like, just dynamic duos that we've seen in the past that have just been literally worthless. Like, look at this duo. Wow, Ooh, these duos are absolutely worthless. We finally got a dynamic duo that number one is free. Although it's hard, it's free. Number two, worth it. Number two, it's good. Those that That's what the My Team community has been asking for. These rewards to be good. 
And not only that, there's now an incentive to get both of these rewards. Because even in two weeks, if you get these rewards, they're still going to be top five at their respective positions. It's and it's, it's it's like last year, right? Part of the reason I've said like these, were, I don't love the reward system of the past, is because I've always felt like rewards just get outdated after like a week or so. I don't think that's going to happen, right? And again, this is just my opinion and how I'm thinking about it. I don't think these are the type of rewards, especially in Mike Bantam, who I think is better than Billy Knight. I don't think you look at Mike Bantam with the Kuzma base on quick, every badge in the game, you know, range extender, like he's got really no flaws. I don't think you look at him in a week and say, oh, you know, he's outdated or, or even three weeks. Like, I think the longevity on these, both of these cards by themselves is there. You give them together with 30 plus Hall of Famers, can get every badge in the game on Hall of Fame. Their longevity is there forever. Not only that, the last thing I want to bring up, and this this is the big the big thing. Do you realize if you grind it for E. Jin Lee, and if you grind it for Ray Allen, if you grind it for Russell Westbrook, you could have an absolutely, even if you grind it for KG, an absolutely incredible lineup that you built literally for free without spending any money on the game. That's what I personally love for my team. Sure, they're banning people for MT. Okay, cool. But at least they're giving people the opportunity to get the best cards in the game, feel like they're rewarded for it, and, and have the option to do so for free. Like, I, I, I'm really, I, and, I, and again, this is from a pure content perspective, loving what my team is doing. Not only all of that, you don't have to play a specific mode to get Bantam. You don't have to play a specific mode to get Billy Knight. Yes, Billy Knight is offline, or, or and Mike Bantam's online. But it's not like you have to go into Unlimited, right? You can get him in Triple Threat online, right? And he, he, same thing for uh, same thing for, Bi er, for Billy Knight, right? If you really want him and don't want to play Clutch Time, you can just play Triple Threat offline and eventually probably get the card, right? Again, they are RNG, but I've said it before and I'll say it again. The community likes RNG. They'll be the first to get mad when they got to play 200 games for a specific card. But they like it because at the end of the day, they know if they play enough games, they're eventually going to get one of the best cards in the game. And that just makes it feel like it's worth it. At least to me, okay? That's my perspective. Because when we go back, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do something for us, okay? When we go back to season five of last year, okay? And this this is just what I wanna do. I, and I get it, right? The, the level 40 reward is garbage. But let's look at season five of last year, okay? Sean Kemp, was he great? No, was he okay? Sure, he was okay, but he was not great, okay? Cincy Powell, he was okay. Not the level of these cards we got today, okay? Big Z, not that great. Like, we didn't see any great rewards last year. And that that's what I really felt what, like was missing, even with the system we had last year. Sure, like, I, I do think, you know, new cards as level re or as rewards are good, but they've got to be good. And that's what's really exciting about this most recent drop is with Mike Bantam, with Billy Knight, we not only got new cards, they're both really good. And at the end of it, if you get both of them, there's a duo. Season five was perfectly, at least from the start, as far as a grinding for free standpoint, I love it. I absolutely love it. And yes, obviously, if you don't want to grind, t Max is going to be just as good, if not better than Billy Knight. He's probably better than Billy Knight, even with the duo. But that's my whole thing is Billy Knight can compete with T-Mac and he's free. This is what we've needed in my team. And honestly, I'm going to say it. This might save my team, at least for me. I'm not saying for the whole community, but at least for me, this might be the main reason I have fun in season five. When I don't have the 250K tournament to look up for, uh, you know, look into anymore. I don't have those types of things. This for me might save the game for me and just allow me to stream have fun making videos, stuff like that, right? Stuff that I need to be able to do as far as content purposes. So for me, I'm actually excited. And that's kind of weird to say that I'm excited about something in my team, but that's the truth. Right now, you guys might be able to tell, I'm grinding for Mike Bantam as I'm recording this video because I really want to get a gameplay out of him and see if he is the real deal in my team. So that's kind of what to look for in my team. Look, obviously, I'm going to be honest with you guys. If you don't have a ton of time to grind, it's not going to be easy to get Bantam. It's not going to be easy to get Billy Knight. But if you do get them and the duo, you got one of the best shooting guard small forward duos in the game for the foreseeable future. Let's get to wrap it up for our video today, guys. Hopefully, each and every you guys did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video, guys. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. And have a blessed day.